Now to your health. Valentine's Day is just four short days away, of course. And no matter how you celebrate, we have a few skincare and beauty tips for the holiday and beyond. Yeah, plus some great gift ideas for all you procrastinators out there. Oh if you're still looking for a Valentine, well, we've got some ideas. Joining us this morning is Dr. Suzanne Jagger, owner of the Aura Aesthetics Med Spa. She's live from her new location on Northwest Cornell Road in Portland. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks for joining us. Good to have you back. So, you know, this time of year, well, I feel like between Valentine's Day and between some of the mask mandates being lifted, mm. there's kind of a renewed focus on lips and beauty and skin care. We're seeing more of our faces again. So are you, are you seeing that trend? Yeah, every year around Valentine's Day, we see a little bit of an uptick in lip, the uh, request for lip enhancement and lip filler. And unfortunately, some of the celebrities have not done a great job of being an advocate for great lip filler. It can look unnatural and kind of fake. But really what we say is the best injectable is imperceptible. We really want to just enhance your natural lip shape in your own hydration and just kind of rejuvenate your, your lips. So come on in to see us and we can help you with that. Okay, yeah. well, good idea. Now, is it too is it too close to Valentine's Day? Because I've always wondered, is there downtime with filler? When should you try and plan these kinds of things if you've got, you know, Valentine's or a wedding or a big date coming up? Right, that's a really good point. So anything we do, there can be a little bit of a downtime and it takes a little while for things to look exactly what like we like them to look. So it's not the best time to come in for a treatment when it's only a few days before a treatment, before a big event. You really wanna see us at least a couple weeks before so that you have some healing time if there's a bruise or a little something and also time for that product to set up. And then when we think about skin treatments, especially as spring and summer come into play, we want to think about having a month or two to three months to really see the benefits of those treatments because you sometimes need multiple sessions with us in order to see the full benefit. Mm. Mm, interesting. Good to know the timeline mm -hmm. with, with those yeah. types of things. Well, what are you recommending to clients right now as you do look ahead to, to spring past Valentine's Day? Right, so we think that it's time to think about maybe some gift giving because Mother's Day is coming, Father's Day, sometimes birthdays or other events. And we have a really great gift card system because when you give a gift, you don't necessarily want to give someone something like, oh, here's a gift card for some Botox. That's kind of like giving someone a vacuum, not a great idea. But if you <laughs> a gift card, they can come to you, spend it on whatever they like. So whether it's a facial or some great skincare, uh, they can come do it that way. Then the other thing to think about is our membership program, which is something unique to us. And just like going to the gym regularly confers the best benefits, our membership program allows access to discounts and extra events and little super little secret surprises that we offer our special guests uh, so that they get regular care and really see the greatest benefits from their treatments. Oh, that's fun. That's a gift yeah. idea that they will appreciate all year long. Mm. That's right. I love that. You know, this is the time of year too where it's usually, I mean, not today, but it's usually a little cloudy cloudier, we don't have as much sun. I've always heard that, you know, these winter months can also be kind of a good time of year to do certain treatments when you would want to stay out of the yeah. sun. Is there something you should Absolutely. be thinking about right now? Totally. It's a great time to think about doing any kind of resurfacing or light based treatments because after those treatments, you can be more photosensitive. So it's great to come in for a chemical peel or an IPL or anything that's going to help lift pigmentation because afterwards you really need to think about staying out of the sun, wearing a hat, excellent sunscreen so that you have the best results. Gotcha. Okay. Our, our winter beauty regimen. We've got some things go. to add to the calendar. <laughs> Thanks for the skincare <laughs> advice. Dr. Suzanne you Jagger bet. with Aura Aesthetics. Great to talk to you and happy Valentine's Thank you. Day. Have a great day. You, uh, too. you too. And Aura Aesthetics is on Northwest Cornell Road in Portland's Cedar Mill neighborhood. You can check out what they offer, aurapdx.com.